the 12 basic education curriculum, technology and livelihood education, learner's packet leap, carpentry, exploratory course for grade 7 and 8, learning outcome number 1, select measuring instruments. Hello everyone, I am your TLA teacher, Sir Lance. Welcome to a new learning competency in carpentry. In this new video, we will learn the procedure in selecting and proper handling of measuring instrument, faces of a lumber, and calculating board width of a lumber. Learning Outcomes Learning Outcome number 1. Select measuring instruments. 1.1 Identify linear measuring instrument appropriate for a given task. Learning outcome number 2. Carry out measurements and calculations. 2.1. Measure given materials. 2.2. Calculate amount of materials for a specific task. One of the most important tools ever invented are the measuring tools. Imagine life without measurements and life without the ability to measure things. It could create tremendous chaos and misalignments not only in construction and carpentry, but also around and beyond the world. Measuring tools used in carpentry are identified in lessons 1 and 2. In this section, Selection of appropriate measuring instruments and proper handling of measuring tools will be discussed. Specifically, measuring a lumber will be the focus of this section for it is the common material that is being measured in woodworking. Selection of measuring instruments Selection of measuring instruments 1. Size and type of parts to be measured It is in consideration to the sizes, types, and shapes of objects to the measuring instrument 2. Environment This must be considered for temperature, humidity, and pressure of an object to be measured 3. Skilled operator. Users of the tool must be identified beforehand to consider his or her knowledge and skill in using measuring tools. 4. Cost of equipment. Choose a measuring tool that is affordable but will not sacrifice the quality and accuracy of measurements. Proper handling of measuring instruments. Proper handling of measuring instruments. First, regularly clean and wipe not only the measuring tools but also its storage. Second, lubricate measuring tools that have movable parts to prevent it from stocking up. Third, avoid rough particles around measuring tools because they can erase graduations on the measuring tool through friction. 4. Regularly check the functionality of measuring tools and its parts. This must be done in schedule and not just before you use the tool. Proper handling of measuring instruments. Number 5. Avoid wiping measuring tools that are made up of thin steel sheets using bare hands. Its sharp edges may cut and pose harm to your hands. 6. Avoid pulling too much retractable measuring tool like purpose rule to prevent difficulty in putting it back to its case. Wood is one of the basic materials used to produce carpentry products. Hence, identifying its faces is vital to measure its size accurately. One known kind of this is the lumber which is defined as any wooden material sawed or split into board timber. 
Faces of a Lumber Faces of a Lumber Lumber, as defined, is a sawn timber. It has six faces. Measurement that can be obtained from this is edge 1 to edge 2 or the width. Measurement that can be obtained from this is end 1 to end 2 or the length. And lastly, measurement that can be obtained from this is phase 1 to phase 2 or the thickness. Calculating board feet of a lumber. The formula in calculating board feet of a lumber. Board foot is equals to T times W times L divided by 12. T is equals to thickness in inches. W is equals to width in inches. And L is equals to length in feet. Sample calculation. Step 1. Identify the given data. Step 2. Determine what is being asked. Step 3. State the formula. Step 4. Substitute given data in the formula, then solve. Board foot is equals to thickness times width times length over 12 equals 2 times 2 times 1 over 12. Therefore, board foot is equals to 4 over 12. Practice time. Directions. Compute for the board foot of the following. Show your solution. Time to engage. Learning tasks. Directions. Compute for the board foot of lumber of the given situation. Follow the steps given. Include your solution in your answer sheet. Dennis is in need of a bigger lumber for his dog house. Will he use lumber A with 1 by 5 by 12 dimension or lumber B with 3 by 2 by 6 dimension which is bigger between the two numbers prove your answer and show your solution Thank you for watching and listening. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I am your TLD teacher, Sir Lance. See you again next time. Goodbye!